Okay. Uh, if you need a little bit more information about uh, uh, surface properties, I'm going to increase the geometry here to 100 by 100, and I'm going to add a noise modifier on top in order to make it more interesting. So we have here noise, and I'll change now the uh, the noise strength. And now my particles are actually lying correctly on the surface, but let's assume that we want to know the normals of these particles. I will go uh, into the particle system itself and I'll make it uh, grid instead of jittered. Now we have this grid and let's assume that we want to actually acquire the normal from the surface. That will be very easy in this case because we can create another output here and say we'll set this one to uh, the normal channel and we'll connect directly the normal coming out there to this. So now the normals are set it's also necessary to do a transform to world and switch this one to be in normal mode. But the result is a correct normal channel. I can visualize it in two ways. The one way is to create another output here and say uh, the output will be the uh, vector, PRT viewport vector. So I connect this normal output also here and I'll multiply it by some uh, factor so I can see it better. But now you see the normals stolen from the surface on those objects. And the other thing that I can do is I can actually create, if you have frost, you can create a frost object here, switch it to geometry, and uh, in geometry you can switch it to custom geometry and create a little teapot that you want to distribute on the frost. So uh, if I select that frost object, here's the frost, and tell it to pick this uh, custom shape of a teapot, and um, I'm going to try to, uh, I'll first reduce the geometry a little bit so it's not uh, as slow. And then in the frost itself, we say specify orientation. Right now, the teapots are actually oriented just pointing up. I can go specify the orientation and say instead of specify, I say use vector channel and select from here the normal channel that we just generated. Now my teapots will be actually oriented by the surface. I should probably make them a little bit smaller so I see them better. Okay. So now we have little teapots that are actually following the surface thanks to the magma operator that told them what the surface is doing underneath. If I go there and say fractal distribution and a little bit less of this, let's say 100, uh, they will be trying to follow if I update, of course, the whole thing. I think that Frost hasn't updated yet. Now it is updated. I have to make it dependent on particle changes, so updating the particle system also update the frost. And now we are stilling the normals of the surface and orienting frost particles there. 